Alright, I am going to try something new and different with this thoughts video. Just to compare it to the others and uh, see how I like it. So I'm going to attempt to be spoiler free here. No step-by-step uh, -step breakdown of the episode like I usually do or anything. Just thoughts about the episode as a whole with a little bit of analysis on stuff that I kind of want to point out. This is all sort of an experiment for me anyway, so I want to be scientific here and test more things out. And of course, as the late, great Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart once said, science leads. So onward then, power of three, let's go. It was a good, fun episode. Yep, mostly another one of those, but it also was more of an Amy and Rory-centric episode. So as you can expect, it's one of those that deals with how the Doctor affects the people around him. And throughout it, the running theme is how the pawns have Doctor life on one hand, and normal human life on the other. But this is one where the adventure is kind of reversed, and the Doctor ends up staying with the pawns for a year of their life. And this is because these weird cube things start appearing all over Earth, but uh, they don't do anything. At least not yet. So the Doctor has to stay and monitor them to unlock the mystery of this strange, slow cube invasion. And yes, it's also one of those invasion episodes. You know, the kind that the Davies era had, like, every other week. But it does feel like it's been forever since we've had one, so I can appreciate that. And speaking of the Davies era, this one actually holds a lot of similarities to it. It very much feels like one of his good ones, so I'm okay with that. I don't hold any animosity for Davies, at least not on his good days. On his bad, giant wasp and farting alien days, uh, you know, different story. But no, this would be a good one. So anyway, yeah, this is all very much about the companions' lives outside the TARDIS, and those are always interesting and much appreciated. And Kate Stewart, the Brigadier's daughter! I love it when they connect the classic series, so much appreciation goes out to that as well. And the whole idea of this weird, slow invasion is quite good, and leads to some good humor, as well as tension when things actually start, you know, getting started. But unfortunately, all that buildup sort of leads to a rather anticlimactic ending. Yeah, it, it definitely felt rushed. The explanation and solution to it all was kind of quick and easy to resolve, which is actually another similarity to the Davies era now that I think about it. <laughs> but I honestly think this one could have done with being a two-parter. One part for all the Doctor living with the pawns thing, and the build-up and ending with the action finally beginning, and the second part for the scary bit and the whole solving of the mystery thing and the ending of the conflict. And it would definitely have been nice to see more stress on the, 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 the issue of the Doctor's effect on his companions, which being a two-parter would have more than allowed. And also they could have kind of developed the lore behind the ending reveal more, which actually kind of turned out to be more of an ass pull. But still, overall, it was enjoyable. And it did a good job of setting up the next episode, which would be really interesting. I'll uh, definitely have a lot to talk about there. So until next time, no, 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 wait, wait. I'm gonna try something else too. I'm gonna give this a rating. Yeah, that'll be cool, right? Uh, okay, 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 um, what should I rate this one? Uh, out of 10, out of 10. How about 7 out of 10? Yeah, that's it. Solid 7 out of 10. Nicely above average, but, you know, not incredible. Okay, and with that, stay absolutely fantastic, and I will see you next time.